In this tutorial I would like to explain types of shape handles uh, that we can use uh, when we modeling structural framing. When I go to a structure and select a beam, draw it maybe on level 2 plane. Once this beam is modeled, uh, we have two methods of extending uh, its length. One is by using this rounded uh, shape handle and the other one is using this triangular shapes, right? I would like to explain the difference between uh, two of them. First of all, when we are modifying this geometry, uh, let's pay attention to the um, to the values in the properties windows. Uh, when I use this rounded uh, shape handle, this bullet, uh, I change the length value. Okay, you see, also the cut length is uh, changing, but once I'm using uh, this uh, triangular shapes, only the cut, cut length will change. You see, 600, 400, it's a constant value now, and cut length is changing. So this is uh, the main option. Also, uh, when we are using this shape handles, we are actually uh, modifying uh, start extension and end extension. Now it's uh, let's uh, make it zero. And uh, once it is done, it means that uh, these two uh, types of shape handles overlaps each other. So, and uh, now the end point equals uh, the equals zero, it means that it's in the same spot. It is important to use this shape handles wisely uh, because uh, it affects uh, many other uh, issues in the modeling process. Uh, for example, uh, it affects analytical model. Analytical model uh, will be, uh, will finish uh, at the uh, structural framing component end. So if I Enable analytical model here. Uh, maybe type VG and make sure it's visible. You see that uh, when I use the triangular shapes, that extend, uh, they extend just geometry. This stays in the same place. So we have to uh, pay attention uh, to this issue when we are creating our model. For example, this rafting uh, structure. I would uh, have to first of all remember um, where where is the finish uh, and uh, ending point, uh, and think about analytical model in the first plane, and then uh, worry about the geometry. So when I create a timber. Uh, rafter beam using uh, 3D snapping option, right? And insert the first one and the second. Although the geometry is not correct, I should not change uh, change it using this uh, shape handle, this dot, this bullet shape handle, because in a 3D analytical model, it actually looks properly, right? So what I would have to do is to change this geometry using the shape handles and uh, reference plane in order to uh, cut it. But it's not the uh, the theme, the subject of this lesson, so I, I will not explain. I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to highlight this issue. Uh, the other important uh, thing is that uh, when we are shed using shed link. Um, we also uh, should probably use this um, cut back cut length, right? Because when we are uh, cutting it with reference planes, uh, we have this length in the shadow, right? If we used uh, the the normal length, 
it would not measure this small distance. Uh, maybe in some cases these distances would, would be much longer and uh, it would cause uh, mistakes in the scheduling values. So uh, when we are creating a new uh, schedule, uh, structural framing uh, category, uh, structural framing, right? Uh, we have to pay attention uh, which uh, parameter we choose, whether it's cut length or length. Such mistake could be very costly. Uh, so so be careful with with these settings. So mm, so here it is. Here is the main differences between uh, these two uh, types of shape handles. So this is it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.